In North Dakota, the North Dakota Senate passed a bill Monday that will affect medical professionals who treat the transgender community if it's signed by Governor Doug, uh, Governor Burgum. The Senate voted to pass a bill that would criminalize sexual reassignment surgery and gender-affirming health care for minors. What this means is that any doctor who performs these types of surgeries on children under the age of 18 would be guilty of a Class B felony, which is punishable up by up to 10 years in prison and a $20,000 fine. I do not want them getting medical intervention that will have a lifetime of consequences, but with a second child, who am I to decide that the parent and the doctor are wrong? I feel like this is an impossible choice, said Senator Kristen Roars, a Republican from Fargo. The other part of this bill would charge medical professionals if they prescribed hormone treatment or uh, puberty blockers to transgender individuals under the age of 18. This would be a Class A misdemeanor, which would be punishable by up to 360 days in prison and a $3,000 fine. This will now head to Governor Burgum's desk where he'll decide if this bill should become law. North Dakota's House lawmakers failed to override the governor's veto of the so-called pronoun bill. The House voted 56 to 36 in favor of the Senate bill, which uh, would have restricted teachers and staff from referring to transgender students by the personal pronouns they use without parent and school administrator permission. It's not enough for the two-thirds they would have needed to override Governor Doug Burgum's veto. And the House lawmakers voted to reconsider a bill Monday designed to raise the speed limit on the state interstates. The House voted 58 to 34 in favor of that. That's uh, short of their two-thirds approval needed to override Burgum's veto. The governor had previously said the bill went against the state's Vision Zero goal of eliminating motor vehicle deaths in the state.